in this dome theater environment, we basically have, this is a piece we did computer animation, but as you can see, it's being mapped completely around the sphere, which is normal. But when you put on the glasses, basically everything becomes completely 3D. So as I look out here, we see this nanotube coming toward us and we, it's fully volumetric 3D, you're moving through it. We can walk around the theater and it's 3D everywhere. It's volumetric, it's everywhere, it's omnidirectional. And what this means is the coveted holodeck from Star Trek that was always a fantasy can now be a reality. We can create environments like in the show Minority Report that you can grab and interact with the environment around you. Basically what um, McCoy has done is in the past, basically it, it was thought to be impossible by major optical physicists to combine a pa full panoramic image and 3D stereo throughout that panoramic image. So what we do is we can actually either computer render and we are moving toward a live action camera that can generate a 3D stereo baked into a spherical image at a pixel level throughout the entire image. And what that means is we have stereo everywhere. Uh, this, is, this is actually our first camera design, basically. As you can see, is they're all uh, broadcast quality block cameras. And uh, it's a 17 inch sphere that basically, through that we, we were able to capture enough data that we were able to stitch it together based on our algorithms. I, ha I have a, uh, an acquaintance of mine who was in a terrible accident and he was, he's now quadriplegic. And in some of our earlier live action footage that we put together, we basically, um, we, we took it out, it was very rough, you know, we just were trying to prove concept, and we uh, took the camera through, uh, down a bike path, you know, in a state park. And when I visited my friend, we were showing it through a virtual reality headset. We put the headset on him. And when we took it off of him, he had tears strolling down his eyes, uh, down his face, and I asked him what was wrong, and he said, nothing is wrong. He goes, you don't believe what depression I go through. He said, this person used to be highly active, and he said, I haven't had the sensation of motion since before my accident, and you just had me running through the trees.